Hi, Mom. Mom, guess what? What? The page I worked on is live on entrepreneur.com. It's on the home page. Where? On the home page, the page I worked on. Yeah, look. Yeah, it's right here. That's my page. I'm on the home page, Mom. That's so cool. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, crazy. Are those still headphones again? <laughs> yeah. Okay. I need to film a video now. Okay. I'll talk to you later. Okay. Love you, mom. Bye. Okay. Love you, bye. YouTube. Guys, I cannot believe this, man. I had no idea that I would be on the homepage. I just thought I was making this really cool list, right? On something that I've never created before. It took me about a week to do, and I had no idea that I'd be on the homepage. Check this out. This is. Alright. I hope this works. Right here. This is it, man. Top company cultures. I created this. That is crazy, right? Oh my gosh, this is crazy, bro. Well, anyway, anyway, let's put this back. Man, if you want to go ahead and check it out, I'm gonna make sure I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the link in the description below. You can check this out. This is crazy. Uh, this, this is just crazy. <laughs> but yeah, this is crazy. I had no idea I'd be in the homepage, but man, this project was definitely difficult. This project literally took me a week to make. So I want to go ahead and show you right now. Let me share my screen. Actually, I'm gonna. I'll go ahead and record my screen here for you guys. All right, guys. So we're here right now. I want to show you this. Is the, so this is the page I made. So what happened? Okay, this is the process of what really what happens at work. So someone pretty much creates this list that I made. Right? That someone pretty much designs this list. The person who designed this, he's actually really good at what he does. Um, and so someone designs this in Photoshop. But what we use here at Entrepreneur, we use something called XD, something I never heard of. And so we do this. We do something like this. And yeah, so pretty much what happens, someone does, they design this on Photoshop or XD. And what my job is as a front-end developer, my job is to actually just go ahead and create what he used with Photoshop. And I create that, I replicate what they design with code. Now I'm gonna tell you this, this was not easy. I mean, just designing this, I mean, just trying to create this with code and making sure that, look at this, like I, I create something, for example, right? You click in small companies, not even just that, you see this arrow under here? I create it where, you know, you click on medium, the arrow follows it, you click on large, arrow follows it. You know, there's an accordion, um, there, there was a built-in accordion already, so I just use that in, you know, you click on it. But even on, but even more than that, it's making sure everything looks good, not just on desktop, but even on mobile, but even on large monitors as well. I mean, you know, I had to create, you know, there's this loop that we work on where it, there's just a lot of different things. So this is pretty much what I made. Now, just looking at this, right, as someone who's just, browsing our website or someone who's just looking at this list really you honestly um it looks like it's easy to make but it's not you have to understand this is a list of 150 different companies this is a list where you organize from medium sizes small sizes and we worked with using arrays and doing all these different things um getting the ads in place um you know every couple rows um making sure everything's perfect and what's really cool is that when we got to, when we had to do this project you know i would have the I, I had a design, she would come and she would review what I'm doing and we'll make little quirks here and there. You know, I couldn't imitate everything exactly because sometimes it won't make sense in regards to how it looks in desktop and mobile development. There are things that I would hide when it's mobile development, for example, right? So on mobile, what happens is that, I, you know, um, pretty much as the page gets skinnier, right, on iPad or et cetera, you see that company location sector, location and sector actually disappears as it gets smaller. And what this does is it only what it does is that it only displays one section, the company and its rank, right, in the logo, of course. And even when you go mobile, right, even when you click on that, it's still mobile friendly. And I'm gonna tell you this, man. This was the hardest part of the project. The hardest part of the project was making sure what looks good on desktop will still look good on mobile. Mobile is key. Making things mobile friendly, as difficult as it may be and sound, I mean that is the priority because everyone looks on websites, on everything, on their cell phone nowadays. Um, it is insane. I mean, I'm learning about new markup languages I didn't even know about, something called AMP, where it, it you know, uh, pretty much this markup language that Google created so that, you know, it can make pages load more quickly on your phone, specifically for mobile users. I mean, Google is really going all out on this. It's insane. And so, I mean, yeah, this is what I made. <laughs> um, and I'll, I'll tell you this, man. Um, this was difficult. So, okay, so what I wanna talk about, okay, first of all, are what were the challenges that I had when it comes to this project? Number one, again, I just talked about the challenges. Number one challenge was 
imitating what he designed on desktop, but even more than that, imitating it so that it looks even more clean on a mobile device. Not even just that, the goal is to make sure that it loads quickly. You have to understand there are 150 companies that are listed on here. That's a very long list and trying to create it where in a way that it still loads correctly and, and still loads quickly for mobile devices is huge. And for me, this is insane, man, because literally our site gets like over 10 million views every single month. Entrepreneur.com gets millions of visits, I mean, every single month. It is crazy. And so the biggest challenge is making sure that my page is still easy for someone to still browse on that. And that's not easy at all. What surprised me when it came to this project was how much I still didn't know and how much I still need to learn. Um, the one thing that caught me more than anything is as someone who's self-taught, I used to really get on people who just wanted to stick with Bootstrap and Materialize. And I used to get on them a lot. Like, man, why do you want to stick on Bootstrap and Materialize? You still need to learn how to code using HTML and CSS. But one thing that I learned is that you do not want to code everything straight up from HTML and CSS. What I used to create this, and I didn't have to, I could have used anything to create this, but what I used to create this was, was actually materialized CSS. I used that front end framework, um, I don't know what exactly you call it, but HTML, CSS, and, and what it pretty much does is that it makes creating pages so much more easy, and even more than that, it makes creating pages even that much more, like you can create them even more quickly. And so I was able to create this in a couple of days, but it still took me a couple more days after that to still make it mobile friendly, right? And one thing that it has taught me though, creating this page, is that I do have to spend, I have to be able to pay that much more attention to detail, even to the smallest things, even when it comes to borders, even when it comes to things that aren't necessary. And even more than that, I have to learn to know when I need to speak up and when, like for example, let's say, you know, this looks nice on a Photoshop, on a PSD file, but will that still really be feasible when it comes to a desktop, when it comes to creating it with code? Will it take too much time to create what you design? As nice as something might seem, will that still work when it comes to creating it with code? And that's something I'm still learning and I'm still adjusting because I'm not used to working with a, a professional web designer, actually a skilled web designer who actually designed this. He's legitimately really good. He could draw really good too, which is pretty cool. Um, um, more than anything to see though, last but not least, I want to make this video as short as possible. One thing that I learned more than anything too when it comes to my job here or even just working on this project is that it is not about how many languages you know. A company won't hire you because you know 10, you know, X amount or 10 different languages or you know all the JavaScript frameworks. That is not what matters to a company. There's a reason when you apply to jobs on Indeed, on Craigslist or whatever, that they're looking for people who at least know Vue.js, React.js, AngularJS, and etc. If you know one of these frameworks or libraries or whatever, etc., the only the, they don't ask for people who know all of them. Is what's more important than anything is that are you able to get something done? Are you able to solve a problem? Are you able to code something? And even though you've never worked with this before, are you able to get it done? Do you know how to code around it? Even on a on a language you've never coded in before, which is kind of crazy, man. So yeah, this is my first project. It's insane and I'm really happy and thankful I was able to work on this. I learned so much more about myself. One of the things I really love about working at Entrepreneur is that they really instill confidence in me. Not, this isn't something that my last company didn't really do. I mean, I, they didn't instill confidence in me. They, you know, they gave me projects and I had to instill confidence in my own, myself. You know, my manager was saying like, Chris, you're really good. You got good pretty quickly. Um, but more than anything, like what they instilled in me here at this company, not to say anything bad against my last company, there's nothing bad to say about them, but I have so much more confidence working at Entrepreneur. I'm working on a page that could potentially be seen by millions of people, which is insane, right? Imagine making a YouTube video that millions of people see. Well, I made a page that took me a week to create, that took effort, and I was so stressed out, especially the day that's about to go live, and everyone was stressed out because, you know, millions of people were seeing these pages, you have to make sure everything goes perfectly, etc. and now it's here. It's insane how much effort goes into just creating one page, or a couple pages, right? Or one idea, and making that, creating that and making sure it works perfectly and making sure that all the links work and all these things have to pay so much attention to detail and I'm learning so much working here but yeah man this is it I did not want to really do a vlog today I just want to share with you guys my first project uh, this is insane I can't believe that this is on the home page <laughs> oh my gosh man that's crazy but anyway I'm gonna end the video here Thank you guys for watching. I hope you like it. I know you might find bugs in there. There's still things I still need to fix and work on. There's always changes. There's no such thing as a bug-free homepage or website or whatever, but learning a lot. Let me know what you guys think. And if you want, make sure you subscribe and I'll make more videos like this. See you guys later. This is Chris Sean, a life for a developer, and I'm out.